All right, everyone. Uh, so this is Aaron. I'm one of the volunteer coordinators at the Diana Initiative. And I wanted to go over how uh, to register for our point volunteer system. This is a system we're using for our in-person conference coming up uh, next week. Uh, so I just wanted to do a quick rundown about how to sign up for shifts. So the URL right here is the uh, link to our event that is taking place. We have both remote and in-person positions available. You can see them on the right, right here. You scroll down, uh, they're based off of time and day. And they have a little description about the role. And if I want to sign up uh, for a shift, first I have to sign up for the point uh, platform. And we can kind of do all each at the same time. So let's say I want to pick staff registration for Wednesday uh, from 6.30 to 11 a.m. I'll pick that and then I'm gonna scroll down all the way down to the bottom right here. And I'm gonna say create a point account and I'm gonna click on that. And we get a little pop-up, it asks you for a little bit of information. So I'll put in some of that info here. Put in an email address. Put in a birthday. This isn't my real birthday, by the way. There's uh, nothing saying you have to put in any real information here. I just, for all of you people concerned about privacy. I'll put in a zip code. Uh, this does depend on US information. So our postal codes, codes are usually gonna be five characters. Uh, then you just enter a password. Gotta make sure it follows your password policy. If you wanna upload a photo, you're welcome to. Then you just have to uh, agree to their terms of service. And then you can hit create a point account. So now uh, it's going to verify email and it's gonna send me a little verification to my address. I have another page open to that that's off screen because I don't really wanna share my email. So what you'll just get an email and it will have a big orange link in it and it will say verify your email and all you have to do is click on it. And when you do that, you're gonna, and you've done it successfully, you'll see a little uh, picture that looks like this. So once it's verified, you can just click out of that. You can scroll back down again with the shifts you've selected. Oh, you have to reselect the shift, it looks like. All right, so let me just pick out another one here, staff registration again, yeah. So then you need to go back down here. And then we can sign up with points since we've already created an account with point. Now it's gonna ask you to complete your profile before you can uh, actually sign up for a shift. Uh, these are based off of United States addresses, but you don't have to put in anything legitimate again. Uh, just say, Make something up here. There we go. Something in Mexico. A lot of that already populates for you. Um, you just have to put in some digits here. Uh, it's going to be uh, for US addresses. I think it does actually let you change the country. Yeah. But, you know, again, just put in whatever digits are relevant to you. It does want you to choose some causes, uh, generally ones you're interested in. So it gives you a little bit of selection there and you pick three. And then you click save. Oops, genders required. So they have uh, options of male, female, and non-binary. Then I click save. And it says you have updated your profile successfully. And then finally, we can sign up with point and just click that. And then it's going to give you some information here. It's gonna give you information about the shift, what time it is. And then you can click confirm. And there you are, you're signed up for your shift or multiple shifts. 
Uh, one of the important things with this uh, app too is we you want to make sure you just don't double book yourself. So that's something to keep in mind. Now, if I log out and I just go to pointapp.org, uh, I can log in with my account that I've already created and my password. And this is going to be my uh, profile basically. And so if you want to manage your shifts or if something has changed and you need to change things, uh, you can go to volunteer, I believe, your upcoming events. You can click here on the Diana Initiative and right in the upper right corner, it can say change or cancel. So say I can't do staff registration, maybe that's a little too early for me. I'll go down to something a little bit later in the day and be a, uh, maybe, oh, it looks like that's taken. I'll be, a, Expo Sponsor Helper, that's what I'll be, okay. And then I'll click Next, and it's going to show the change right there, and then you can just click Confirm. So if something comes up, uh, and you need to cancel or sign up for a different shift or sign up for more shifts, uh, you're welcome to do that through your profile. All right, I think that about covers it. Feel free to uh, DM me in Discord uh, if you have any other questions. Thank you for watching.